Aguas de Limboya, July 19 to 2017. Excerpt contents taken from letters by Huthla No Luce. Alert on hurricanes, typhoons, cyclones in the United States of America, Mexico, the Caribbean, China, Japan, Philippines, Singapore, Macau, and Hong Kong on 25 to 27 August 2017. Cyclone is the generic term for the circular depressions called typhoon in the Indian Ocean and Pacific, and hurricane in the Caribbean. Typhoons, hurricanes, cyclones, storms will increase greatly in 2017-2018-2019-2020-2021 The Sapir-Simpson scale used in the North Atlantic raises a storm to the cyclone when winds exceed 118 km/h. Cyclones are formed only in warm seas and should meet several conditions, water temperature above 26 degrees C, sufficient moisture concentration and disturbance that causes swirls. In contact with the ocean, the air gets very hot and rises above sea level, which causes a drop in atmospheric pressure, forming a spiral of fresh air in the center of the depression. This unstable air, charged with water vapor, generates the formation of clouds, producing an activity of storms whose intensity increases proportionally to the heat and the humidity. The force of the Coriolis effect, produced by the Earth's rotation, contributes to the cyclone's circular motion, opposite the clockwise in the northern hemisphere, and the inverse in the south. Rain, wind, ripples, moving at a speed of 20 to over 30 km slash h. These tropical disturbances, ranging in diameter from 300 m to 1000 km, can't last for a week and travel thousands of kilometers. The cyclone begins to dissipate as soon as it touches Earth and runs through colder waters, thus being deprived of its source of heat. Around the eye of the hurricane, masses of clouds cause torrential rains and very strong winds. The cyclone also generates a ripple of up to 1,000 kilometers, which produces a rise in sea level. With Harvey, it could be 1 to 4 meters. Climate change, increasingly, will be destructive. The computer model that simulate the climate of the 21st century estimate that the cyclones could gain intensity and at the same time be less frequent throughout the planet. Since 1970, there has been an increase in the frequency of cyclones in the North Atlantic. But as the cyclonic activity of this region follows cycles that extend for several decades, it is impossible to know if it is a natural variation or result of the climatic changes. And from here on further, some studies point out that in the future North Atlantic cyclones could move from the Caribbean Sea and the Gulf of Mexico to the east coast of the United States, something to be confirmed. Spiritual Message 1. We will have to or more typhoons to hit China, Macau and Hong Kong, one named Hato, in the coastal regions of South China, with strong winds and waves that only in the Macau Special Administrative Region will cause death of eight people. And soon after the typhoon pack their which will reach August 26 to 27, 2017, causing destruction, possible deaths and agitation in the sea with huge waves in that region. This storm will reach the territory after crossing the Philippines towards the South China Sea on August 26, 2017 moving northwest to the coast of Guangdong province. And the typhoons have just begun in some parts of Asia, too. Hurricane Harvey will intensify early on August 25, 2017, and innocent Americans must seek shelter for flooding and flooding that may be lethal. Harvey could become the biggest hurricane to hit the United States in more than a decade. The hurricane is expected to hit the central Texas coast where Corpus Christi and Houston harbor some of the largest refineries in the United States on the evening of August 25, 2017 or August 26, 2017. And we will have between one or two more that will hit American soil by the end of September 2017. 3. Japan the Philippines, China, Macau, Hong Kong, Singapore, South Korea, Malaysia, Cambodia, Indonesia, Australia, Myanmar, Taiwan, Thailand and Vietnam are targeting future typhoons that will be growing stronger as of 2017 in against. I hope I'm wrong, but it's what I could see from now on. Sincerely, Huth Lino Luce, by Mario Ronco Bilho, journalist. Subscribe to our channels and invite everyone to subscribe here. Totally free and receive a lot of important information.